uh, Peter says in uh, Second uh, Peter uh, 1, uh, 10, he says, Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to make your calling and election sure, for if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. Um, I think that we, it is our responsibility to, to be certain uh, about our uh, assurance of salvation. And obviously, the, the best way that we're going to be able to, to do that is uh, to be able to firmly uh, believe the truths of the gospel. So even though there are times when I feel as though uh, my salvation is not assured, uh, for me to be reminded that it is what Christ has done. It is not my own works, but it is what Christ has done for us through his substitutionary atoning work, through his life of obedience, and through his uh, death on the cross, and forgiving us of our sins. That if we know that it is something that has happened, as Apostle Paul writes in his letters over and over again, it is the indicative, all the things that God has done in the person of Jesus Christ that now informs our imperative, that is how we're going to live a life of obedience. And our obedience has to be rooted in what Christ has done. So I like to say it this way, that, that, that our positional relationship in Christ uh, can never uh, be changed or affected because it is a historical event. It is what God has done in Jesus Christ. But our relational, uh, our experiential relationship uh, depends on whether we obey and believe the promise of the gospel, whether we uh, stand up for the poor and, and, and whether we evangelize and do all of the great things that demonstrate the fruit uh, of our understanding of the gospel. Um, but once again, our experiential relationship is rooted uh, in our positional relationship, which has already been established in the person of Jesus Christ. So our assurance of salvation comes by looking at what Christ has done, looking at his life of obedience, looking at, at his uh, transferring of his righteousness in, into our lives, and to see the transfer of our sins uh, going into his life, and that he uh, absorbed the penalty of our sins, paying for the payment of our sins. Uh, as, as a legal sinner. And so I think that the way that we get assurance of salvation uh, is to be able to, to look what Christ has done and not rely so much upon my feelings. When I'm feeling disobedient, then, then I feel insecure. When I'm being obedient, I feel secure. Well, that's, that's not where our, our security should come from because that's kind of a workspace righteousness and we're placing our identity and, and our security through our performance, but it has to be on the perform performance of Christ.